going on guys? Tommy and Ryan here. We're just uh, out back in the shop and uh, I got a Corolla here for parts. And uh, yeah, right now we're just checking some things out. I think that's high enough. Yeah. Watch yourself. In my garage at home. Yeah. Garage got dad got my key keys for my garage and my garage probably open. Uh -huh. <clears throat> no, just this broken one here, but it's uh it's just that steering shaft that's holding it right now. Here, hold this, somebody hold this leg. Our steering line. Oh, Just a rubber. Watch yourself. <laughs> we just cut it off or should we take it off somewhere? Cutter, we got that one good. Oh, that was a good one. That was a close one. It was. How's your foot feel? Oh, my foot's okay. fine. Subframe is out. Now it's time to head to the other garage and start putting her back in. Subframe acquired. It's nice to have stuff like this. Machines that uh, makes your life a lot easier. Yep. Yep. And she's in. Huh? Put it in, she's in. Alright, we're heading into Sydney? Yep. Perfect. Well guys, we got here to the garage and uh, as you watched there before, me and Ryan got this subframe out here. So, uh, this is for the number 41 car. We took it out of the car down back as you just seen. Bind A and P shop, and uh, there's got to go in that car. But first, we got to get a broken bolt out of this out of the frame because Charlie broke a bolt off. So we'll get that bolt taken care of here in a few minutes. And uh, while I'm doing that, Dixon got his rear part here. And what are you doing back here? Uh, well, right here now we just two bent trailing arms from last year. So we're gonna take off uh, the two trailing arms here. This here piece of the plate here has got to drop down because the bolts are on either side. And unfortunately, you can't get a bolt here where the tank is. You gotta love GM. So it's not that much work, but anyway, a little bend in the uh, trailing arm on the driver's side. And over here on the uh, passenger side here, one sec, I grab a light. You can see there's quite the bend in the front one here. So anyway, it's a little bowed out. We're gonna get her all fixed up there by next week and we're gonna be going racing. 
racing on May 13th at Bud Speedway. I hope we hope to see you all there. And uh, we got a little bit of work ahead of us. So we're going to get a couple time lapse videos here of us working. And uh, we'll see you then. Well, I got the welder over here and uh, set up and ready. So I'll get a time lapse here of me welding this in. Now I tried to weld a fucking nut to this bolt like three or four times now and it's not working out. So I'm going to take a different approach tomorrow and uh, try to easy out or something. That's the old one here. So we're going to come to this one and uh, I'm going to probably change out a couple things. So I'm not sure how the rack is on this one, but I kind of want to leave it. But we'll see how it goes there. I'm going to take all the best stuff from both subframes and make one good subframe out of it. So good subframe with all the stuff on it. And that way she'll be ready for this year and we don't have to worry about too much. I got it. That's one. Side, eh? Yep. But anyway, that's one that's the uh, worst side out of the wall we're taking out. So that's good. Yeah, that's what do you want to do over here? See? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Flex hose. Yeah. Anyway, uh, tight. Leave it as tight as you can for right now, just uh, so it doesn't leak out as too much overnight. What are you welding? What are you welding? Back over to the brakes. Here, let me see. Well, it's getting to be a pretty light night here, guys. Dixon's gone home for the night. We got his car up in the stands. My phone was dead there for a bit, so we didn't get much filmed after, before. So, um, yeah, his car's up on the stand. It's got a brake leak. We got to get a flex line for it. It's got a power steering leak. We got to fix that. And, uh... Oil change, that's all for up front. Back here, he got his lateral links off. I think you've seen a little bit of that. Uh, he had a couple bent ones. So I think, what is there's what, three of them that he took off or two of them? Yeah, two, two bent ones there. So he got them two bent ones off. And uh, while he was doing that, Chris got this subframe all stripped apart and uh, some spare parts there for us. Control arms are still good on both sides. Uh, we got a rack and this piece of the subframe and the sway bar. Uh, other than that, the K-frame part is no good. So he got all the stuff switched over onto this rack here, onto this K-frame story. And we just need to put the line on that we got to get in the morning from CarQuest. And yeah, so put that line on and a link it. And then this subframe is ready to go back in the car. We got the brakes, rear brakes, everything's all good back here. The only thing we got to do in the back here now is we got to get this gas tank strap fixed up. So we're going to fix that up here in a few minutes. And right now Chris is up here and he's got the uh, rad support. There's a 
couple little spots in the rad sport we had to fix so he's up here fixing them up now and uh there's still a hole right here we got a little patch panel right there for that so he's gonna get that welded in and then tomorrow we're gonna come back in and we're gonna put the uh k-frame in with the rack put the new brake pads on the link kit the cut this converter off and put a straight pipe on it and this car needs plates right here for the bumper and plates on the back here for the bumper to keep them held in a little bit better and back here to keep that held in a little bit better so we're gonna do that and we're gonna do that on Dixon's car as well to put his back bumper on as you heard earlier um so yeah there's lots left to do here for the next day or so it's friday night at one o'clock in the morning i'd say chris is here and we're just grinding it out chris doesn't have much free time so he's here trying to help get the car ready he's going to be racing this number 41 car this race by the seams of it so uh hopefully we can get it all together for him Well, guys, I don't know where we left off last, but uh, it's been a pretty crazy day here. We uh, got a bit of work done. Got a bit of done here to the number six car and uh, a little bit numb to the number 41 car here again. So, uh, got a new brake line there. Uh, we just got the brake off uh, and all that all fun stuff. Ryan did some other little adjustments there. Couple front end adjustments, and we're just waiting for the lateral links now for the rear end for our uh, for the six car. And when they come in Monday, we'll button her all up Monday night, and have her finished off by Tuesday, and hopefully we'll be hitting the track Friday nights for uh, some uh, practice runs. And anyway, we'll go from there. Yeah, we just gotta button that all up, put the bumper back on, oil change, and she should be race ready. So this one here, we just got the exhaust all cut off of. Uh, and the K-frame's all out as you've seen. We got all the new parts for the K-frame in today. We got the new link kit there and the new power steering line, the new brake pads, and we got the new pipe for the where the converters were. So hopefully in the next couple days, by Tuesday, like Ryan said, this number 41 car should be completely buttoned up as long as the number six car and the two of them should be race ready for uh, Friday there to hit the track for some practice. And uh, hopefully Saturday is a good day for both cars. So that's a little update on these two cars. Uh, the white car never really got much done to it yet in the last couple <coughs> days. But uh, Charlie's coming back on Monday and he's going to go full force on that. And uh, the number 411 car will get uh, attention next week as well. So that's it for now, guys. Comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.